Watch out behind you. So in my last video, I talked a bit about how there are no boring rides. Even if you ride the same trails or similar roads almost all the time, it's always different depending on the time of day, the time of year, the people you're with, the bike you're riding, the mood you're in. You know, any day outside is a good day. And as a lot of you commented, you tended to agree you're outside moving your legs. That's all that really matters. But that being said, I do like to go out and still try and find some new stuff. And it amazes me, but we always seem to be able to do it. Um, on this day, we rode down the Ohio and Erie Canal towpath towards Barberton, me and Ben, that we've done a bunch of times. But then when we cut off in Barberton, we went through the residential neighborhoods and took different streets that I hadn't before. There's a really cool website for that. I made a whole video about it, and I'll make it the linked video at the end called Wander Earth. And that kind of, it integrates with your Strava, and it'll actually show you where you've been and where you haven't been. And so it has a gamey aspect, and it's kind of cool, just something motivating you to try and find new little roads, you know, take a different cut, see just a little different. Um, part of town, different country road, or you can see if there's, you know, even a trail you haven't hit or little pieces of it. So I think that's kind of a fun way to motivate yourself to keep trying to do new things. I, I tend to use that a lot in the winter, you know, when I'm doing shorter rides maybe, and I'll just try and go through a different neighborhood or a different, you know, street I haven't been on before. Anyways, it only works for actual roads and bike trails. It doesn't work for the true exploring stuff because it doesn't count stuff that's not um, official to ride. So on this day then we went out to what I just found out was an old limestone mine in Norton. Uh, actually the largest limestone mine in the world. The mine is 2,000 feet underground so and obviously they have the old shaft sealed off uh, but we have explored out there before you know there's old service roads and stuff like that we've ridden around and then it looks like people have cut in either four-wheeler trails or dirt bike trails and stuff like that. And so we were exploring some more of those. Um, ben was showing me a couple that he found last time he was out there that I hadn't been on. But then the two of us made a different turn and found a whole new set of trails through the woods and all that. We actually came out through the woods uh, on the other side and to a disc golf course, a frisbee golf course, whatever you call them. Um, we said we found a lot of weird stuff in the woods before and a lot of weird stuff when exploring, but this is definitely the first time we found a Frisbee golf course while we were out there. We actually rode around it a little bit to try and see where, you know, because it has to come from somewhere and it turns out there was a church, but there were actually some people out playing that we came across and we're like, whoops, sorry, wrong way, but um, all good. So yeah, we just had a great day exploring, trying to find new stuff and hopefully then now we could put together like a flowy route. Uh, to cover a lot of the trails out at this place. A lot of fun. I did go over the bars once, but it was one of those like comfortable ones where you roll out on the soft grass. Anyways, it just got me, you know, thinking again how I hear some people say like, I have nothing to explore. And I just, Look at the end. man, I just find that really hard to believe. The fact that we're still leaving on our bikes and finding new spots, there's gotta be something out there. Um, oh, nice. You know, we have a, you know, there's a lot of gray areas. I don't want to you know, try and tell someone to do something, you know, we don't jump fences that are covered in no trespassing signs and stuff like that. But we definitely take advantage of the gray areas and stuff. We're always respectful. If we come to the back of a house or anything like that, we turn around. If we see, like I said, a ton of signs, we don't go that way. You know, there's ways to explore and keep it safe um, and to be respectful. And then also, just like I said, the way to just explore new roads and new streets um, is also cool. One thing I always talk about doing and don't do that much though is, you know, getting in the car and going to new places, you know, not even that far. Here in Ohio, we're not that far from a bunch of like really good gravel roads and I've done some of the gravel events and races around here and explored them, but you know, we have a really good resource called Ohio Gravel Grinders that plans like routes that you can just go and do on your own. I always want to do a little more of that. It's just one of my things is I love just jumping on my bike out the door and riding. But, you know, if you're saying you really are somewhere where there's nothing, I'm guessing there is something within an hour in your car, or better yet, if you live somewhere where you could jump on a train and not even have to deal with the car. So that being said, um, you know, look at Google Maps, put the satellite view on, look at the old train lines, you know what I mean? Just, yeah. there's a lot of like features you could distinguish where, you know, sometimes we ride up to one and there's, turns out there's really nothing there or it's too rough or, like I said, there's a fence and a no trespassing sign. Other times there's places like this where we just have a blast riding around and it doesn't really seem like there's going to be anyone there to bust you. There's nothing to break, you know, <laughs> and all that stuff. But yeah, also um, I'll be exploring new stuff in the car 
the rest of October, pretty much. Uh, a week out, I'll be heading to Johnstown, Pennsylvania for Hope Cyclery's uh, Higher Ground Ride, which should be a lot of fun. 70 miles of uh, a lot of climbing and sounds like a mix of country roads and gravel and dirt. So that'll be pretty cool. And then a week from that is Nutmeg in Connecticut put on by Ronnie Ultra Romance, whatever name he's going by these days. Uh, we're going to stop in Albany on the way out, explore that city, which most of us have never been to, then out to Connecticut to get a ride, you know, the beautiful off-road and country road stuff out there. And then we're actually going to work our way over towards the Hudson River and ride down into New York City. So, yeah, you know, obviously you can, it's easy to explore when you get in your car and go a long way. But I still believe there's stuff right around home and there's ways to explore it. Anyways, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for checking it out as always, and I will see you in the next one.